everybody and welcome to Jammeru Hits. I am Teacher Jamaica and today we're going to be demonstrating how to do a fun arts and crafts activity with numbers to practice some basic math. So what I've done is I have two paper towel rolls that I've cut in half. One I left like a circle. One I've folded into a square or a diamond. One I've made into a heart and one I rolled up kind of trying to make it into a squirrel. So all you really need for that is two paper towels and tape. And then I'm using an ink pad today, but if you're doing this at home, you could use paint, you could use anything that you have that would work. If you have some food coloring, you could put a little bit of food coloring into shaving cream, you could use that. There's all sorts of things that you could do to create paint at home if you don't have if you don't have an ink pad. I'm using an ink pad because I actually don't have my paint here. So I'm going to demonstrate how I would lead this activity for my students. I'm gonna to talk to you as if you are my students. So imagine that I've rolled out this piece of paper on the ground and I have written the numbers on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could do one through five, you could do one through 10. I have them lined up this way because we're gonna work from this way and then we're gonna go across the bottom and then with my older students, I'm gonna add up the numbers in each row to see how many stamps we have at the end, okay? So I'm gonna start and show you how I would lead this with my students. Hello friends, welcome to Arts and Crafts. I'm very excited because today we're gonna practice our numbers and we have some paper towel rollers that I have made into stamps. So we're gonna stamp them into the stamp, the ink pad, and we're gonna take turns. So let's practice our numbers first. Can we count them all together, friends? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me ask you a question. If we're gonna put stamps on this piece of paper, and we're gonna put stamps underneath the seven, how many stamps do you think we wanna probably put under the seven? Oh, seven, you are right. So then how many stamps will we put under the one? One, that is great. So why don't we do this? We are going to take turns today, and we're gonna have my two friends that I'm doing this activity with, Patricia and Barbara, you're gonna take turns. So Patricia, you get to start today, and we're gonna do one stamp with the letter one. Do you wanna pick what color and what stamp you wanna put underneath the number one? Oh, you wanna do the heart, okay. What color? Oh, the purple. So Patricia would do this. I'm only demonstrating because she's not here, right? So you want this to be, you want this to be hands-on. You do not wanna be doing this for your students. So Patricia would come and she'd put the stamp in here and then she would put it right there. And look, we have a heart underneath the one. Wow, good job. So one and one heart. Okay, then Barbara, what about you, Barbara? Do you wanna come up and do the two? How many stamps do you think we need under the two? Two, oh, you're right. So then Barbara would come and she'd put the stamp in here. She'd put them under the two. Wow, we have two green circles and one purple heart. Patricia would come and do one. Oh, you want the red? We're gonna do one, two, three. Good job. Okay, what about what's next? What's next? Oh, no one's used the circle yet. Okay, so you would have your students come up. This is, take your time. Practice counting, practice the colors. You can talk about how sometimes you have to put a lot of pressure on your stamp to get a picture. If you press too lightly, you don't really see anything. So you have to really put a little bit of pressure in, but we have to be somewhat gentle because we don't wanna smush our paper towel roller, our homemade stamp. So we have four squares. Very nice. What about the five? You wanna use the green again? Okay, the green one's working real good. Let's do five, ready? One, two, three, 
four, five. Okay. So again, my students are taking turns doing this. If you had a larger group of students, you may want to split, split this up and do it differently. So you may, instead of having just two child alternate, you could have everybody do one, or you could have each child, if you had a group of five, once you get to the fives, you could have each child do one stamp for the five. So it's up to you. There's no wrong or right way to do this. The idea is that we're just practicing our numbers in a fun way and we're doing a little arts and crafts. So let's do six hearts. Two, three, four, five, six. What else do we have? How about we do the squares again? Seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And should we do the green again since it was working so well? Let's do the green again for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow! So then once you have all your stamps on the piece of paper, then we can practice our adding and our counting. So I'm gonna pretend like my students at home or my children at home are pre-K. And so we're gonna start counting and we're gonna add up. If I was doing this with my younger students, I may leave this part out, okay? So like my threes, this is a great activity you could do with your twos or your three-year-olds. If I was gonna do it with my twos and threes, I would not be doing the adding part, but with my older children, I'm gonna do the adding. So my TK, my kindergartners, and my pre-K. So we have one heart. So what we're gonna do, Patricia and Barbara, is we're gonna add up these numbers to see how many stamps we have. So at this point, I may actually sit on this because I really just wanna focus on these numbers and I would have my students sitting on this side of the camera, I mean on this side of the um, paper, <laughs> so that they're looking at the numbers going down, adding this way. So one, heart plus five circles. I think those are circles or squares. Let's count all the pictures and see how many we have. One plus five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One plus five equals six. Wow. Let's move over this way. We have two pictures here and six purple hearts here. Can we add those together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two plus six equals eight. We have three pictures here and seven here. Let's add them all together and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, good job, friends. So we really wanna make sure that when we're doing this, we're encouraging our students to count along, and they're also pointing, they're using their fingers, that's perfectly fine, okay? We're gonna to get to the last set of pictures. So we have four, one, two, three, four, plus eight, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four plus eight equals twelve. So again, if you wanted to, you could then count all of these things up together and we could see how many pictures we made total. What's our total number? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Wow, 36 pictures we created. That's so many, friends. Great job.
And then when I'm done with this, I would ask my students if they wanna leave it like this or if they wanna to continue to decorate it because now we're done with the math portion so we can have a less, um, have it be more student-led and less teacher-led by putting the stamps out or whatever you're using, paint stamps out and let in your students kind of be creative and decorate it any way they want to. So that's a fun idea of things you can do at home with things you can find around the classroom. Bye-bye.